Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is array the find node? Let's go ahead and cover the find node and see what we might use it for. So the find node is pretty simple. It's going to take an input array and an input value, and it's going to see if that item exists inside the array, and if so, return the index of the first time it finds it. So that is one thing to keep in mind. If your array has duplicate entries, it's only going to return the first index. And let's go ahead and see how that works. You have two ways of creating it. If we went to the utilities array, we can have the find item. That's going to create our wildcard version. Or if we drag off and type in find under utilities array, we can go ahead and get the direct input version. The only difference being at creation time, when we create this node, it knows we're going to input an index. It can take a direct input like this, so it's going to go ahead and allow us to directly input our value. That's the value we're going to, that is the version we're going to use for this example. So let's look at our array. Our array contains 1, 5, and 9. Let's go ahead and see if we have a 5 in here and actually type in 5 properly. We're going to go ahead and run this. And I will stop debugging. And it's going to print out the index if 5 exists in here. If we hit play, we find 1 is printed. And that's because in our index, in our array, value 5 is at index 1. Let's extend this for seconds just to make it easier. So let's say we put in a, let's say it's 77. And we went ahead and hit play. Well, we're going to get negative 1. Negative 1 indicates it does not exist, therefore we have no valid index, therefore negative 1 means we didn't find it. Let's go ahead and change this array. Let's add another value, and let's put a, another value of 5 in here. Let's put 1 in here this time. We'll do another index of 1, value of 1. Now we have 4 of them. 1, 5, 9, and 1. Let's tell it to find value of 1 and hit play. And it's going to indicate index 0. Well, it indicates index 0 because the first entry for 1 is at index 0. Now, if you wanted to actually go through and see if you had multiples, you could go ahead and do the find, and then you could loop through the results and continue until your index returned is negative 1. Then you'll have all valid indexes for that value. That's it. Find is useful if you need to find something specific. Since you can compare things, you may have an array of enemies, but you want to see if one is dead or alive, or maybe there's a specific type of enemy and you actually want to see if it exists. You can have your array of enemies as your input. You could have the specific enemy as your class or object type, and then see if it's actually already spawned. That's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know.